In this video, I'm going to show you a technique that I like to call knockout text. It's taking one word and knocking it out into another, like this happy birthday that you see here. So let's get started. Let's first figure out what we're going to use. I think I'm going to use Merry Christmas because it's that time of year. So I'm going to type out Christmas in all capital letters. And then I'm going to choose a bold font. I'm going to choose Impact. Now, when yours come in, your word comes in, it might be stretched out like this. You want these close together. So come up here to your spacing between letters and click the down arrow to get them closer together. You just want to make sure like this H and R, they're not touching and that the word is still legible. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go to my selection tool, go to path, object to path, ungroup, path, union. And then I'm going to stretch it out. And then I'm going to go back to my text tool and I'm going to type out the word Mary in all lowercase. And now because I sh shrunk the spacing between these letters, it's also shrunk on these. So I'm going to raise that back up and stretch those out. Maybe not quite that far. That looks good. And then I'm going to choose a script font. I'm going to choose Magnolia Script. That's a free font at defont.com. Now, you want to make sure that where your letters join, that they are still joined. Okay? If you have to scroll in. There we go. Now, we're going to go back to our selection tool. I am anyway. Make sure that it's selected and then go to Path Link to Offset. And a little diamond is going to show up along your bounding box here. Let's choose the color red and pull up on that. Now, this is going to be your cutout. So, Make it as big as you want for your cutout. Okay. And then go to Path, Object to Path. Go to your Selection tool, grab that, and pull it up and place it wherever you want to place it. And then hold your Shift key down and select your word that's behind it and go to Path, Difference and that cuts it out. And then you can take your other one and put it inside. You can turn it red. You can have this one green. You can cut them out of whatever colors that you would like. Now, you can layer this. So let's grab that and take it back down. Let's go to Path, Linked Offset again. Let's turn that black. Now, this can get a little tricky if you don't do it all at once. So if you know you're going to want to layer this, when you do your first linked offset, when you get done with that and you go uh, path object to path, go ahead and go back to path and linked offset. And then it's easier to layer them that way than it is the way I'm going to show you now. So grab a hold of that, pull it up, and you want this space to be in between this space and the red one. So that's where it gets a little tricky if you don't do it all together. 
go to path, object to path, go back to your selection tool, grab that black, bring it up. See, there's hardly any space there that may be hard to layer. And you can change those to whatever colors you would like. So I think I'll choose the black and I'll turn that one red. And then I'll choose the red and turn that one white. Okay? So if you know you're going to layer it, when you do your first linked offset, go ahead and do another linked offset. And then bring your back layer up to your Christmas or your backward, whatever it may be, and do the difference on those two, and then you can bring your other two layers up, okay? So select it all, group it, go to File, Save As, find a destination, give it a name, and save it as a plain SVG. And that's it. When you take it into your cutting program that uses SVG files, it will be in layers and you just have to put it together. So I hope you'll play around with this technique and join me in my next video. Thanks for watching.